previously on Dr. Pack. Oh man, what will I do? My gains will melt off. Stop crying, Faso. I got you. An effective pose. Okay, I, I get it now. I get the general concept of the minimum dose, but how would I go about actually making my own program for strength and hypertrophy? It is me, again, the minimum dose guy with another minimum dose video for you. This time, we're not just talking about the general concept of the minimum effective dose. If you wanna check out that video, the link should be somewhere here. Now, when it comes to strength, things may be a bit more interesting uh, than some of you may think. For those of you that don't know, I did my PhD on the minimum effective dose for strength, specifically looking at power lifters. And what I wanna do with this video is essentially break it in two parts. First, I'm going to talk about people that have just general strength goals, your average lifter that goes to the gym and wants to see their bench press go up. And then I'll talk about the minimum effective dose for more power lifting specific strength for people that are really, really, really about that one repetition maximum strength life and care about just that. If you're somebody who is engaging in resistance training and wants to experiment with the concept of the minimum effective dose, you have nothing to worry about as far as losing gains, losing strength, or not making progress. This is a concept that is supposed to get you an effective response from your training with the least amount of training possible. This is not an experiment of doing as little as possible and potentially losing gains. For you, average lifter who is in the trenches, in the gym, but there are times where things are rough, you are not able to get your usual training in, you're busy, you have other things on your mind and so on and so forth. What can you do to still make meaningful strength gains over, let's say, a period of six to 12 weeks. The current scientific literature that has been done on trained individuals, so people that have spent time in the trenches, much like you, shows that with one to three sets per lift per week, so one, let's say one to three sets of squats per week, with sets of six to 12 repetitions at roughly 75 to 85% of your one hour rep max strength, so a relatively heavy weight, and those sets performed very close or to muscular failure, so to the point where you're attempting another repetition and you're unable to get one, those sets, so just a few sets per lift per week, are more than enough for you to make significant one repetition maximum strength gains in lifts like the squat and the bench press. That's it. If you're somebody who's going to the gym just to get fitter, bigger and stronger, doing your usual sets of six to 12, very close or two failure, will allow you to make significant strength gains on your main lifts or even your accessory lifts over six to 12 weeks. Pretty good, right? Indeed it is. Now, if you are a power lifter or somebody who is specifically after those one RM strength gains and you are really focused on getting your squat, bench, or deadlift 1RM strength up with some aspiration to compete in powerlifting or even just test your strength in a gym environment, here's where things get a little bit different. Now, we know that for strength, it is the concept of specificity is very important. So essentially doing something that is very specific to the test that you're gonna be testing your strength at. And in the concept of the minimum dose, that comes in the form of singles. Single repetitions that are essentially almost the same as the one repetition maximum test, the infamous max out that you will do whenever you decide to test your strength. The studies that we did, and we took a bunch of power lifters, showed that with as little as one to three repetitions per week per lift, one has, a, a, relatively okay chance at making meaningful one repetition maximum strength gains. They have to be near maximal repetitions where you're leaving at best one to two reps in reserve and are looking much like a max out, but not an entirely all out max out. That said, when adding a couple of back offsets to those single repetitions, so adding a couple of triples, 
at around 80 to 85% of whatever you hit for that single, significantly increase your chance to the point where our study showed a 99% chance of making meaningful gains um, over the course of a few months. So if you're somebody who just cares about their squat, bench, or deadlift 1RM strength, or whatever 1RM strength, going in the gym and doing a hard, heavy single, almost near your limit, followed by a couple of back offsets, and doing that one to three times per lift per week, will probably be enough for you to see great gains over a certain period of time. Now, that period of time, and that comes back to general strength as well, and anybody experiment with a concept may vary from person to person. So this type of training will not only allow you to still make gains in a time efficient manner, it comes with much less soreness and overall fatigue than if you were to do higher training volumes. And it's something that you can supplement to your usual training if let's say you want to take the concept of the minimum effective dose for strength and combine it with a hypertrophy training program. So let's say you're training for hypertrophy, but you still care about your squat, one repetition maximum strength. You could do your usual hypertrophy work, but at the beginning of the session, just throw in a single and maybe some back offsets on your squat. Do that a couple of times per week, call it a day, still focus mainly on hypertrophy, but still get a lot of your potential strength gains for the squad by just doing a few sets per week. The concept of the minimum effective dose for strength can be relatively flexible and you don't necessarily need to take these guidelines as extremely strict guidelines. You could even start as low as one set per week, see how that feels. Obviously the fact that you're doing singles if you're a powerlifter or even if you're doing sets of six to 12 reps, your performance within those sets will be telling you after a few weeks how things are going. If you're seeing those sets slightly go up, that means that you, know, you could potentially stay as low as one or two sets per muscle group or per lift per week. Whereas if things are not feeling great and you're not seeing much of a response, you can just add a set and then take it from there. Keep in mind that this is a concept and not a method of training where you're gonna be optimizing your gains, but rather something for you to have there, sometimes as a backup and sometimes as a relatively long-term approach when life gives you lemons. And what do we do when life gives us lemons? We drop ship them on Amazon and we start our own lemon store, hashtag grindset, Hashtag your network is my net worth because your network is buying my lemons, buy my lemons of Amazon. The minimum effective dose concept for strength is something that has been not only tested as far as the literature goes, but a lot of lifters out there, again, of all kinds of levels. I'm talking about elite athletes, elite strength athletes that focus solely on getting their one repetition maximum strength up all the way to beginners is something that anecdotally has worked really well for a lot of people. Take that concept, experiment with it, and just tell yourself that, hey, there is enough data there to give you peace of mind that even if you're somebody who is absolutely addicted to getting as strong as possible, the few weeks where you're unable to get your two hour sessions in, a few heavy sets will still do the trick or at least the majority of the trick. If you wanna learn more about the minimum effective dose or try some free Templates, minimumdosetraining.com for free templates, minimumdose.training for the literature. Don't forget to like, subscribe, notification icon, and of course, as always, to just please send me money or any type of goods that you may have laying around, tables, chairs, honey, whatever you can find, free stuff, send it over. My home address is right below in the description terms of the supply home address not included thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one on the fly out in the streets it's on site send location i will see you there stop taunting me who the do you think you are free content for your buy the book buy the lemons stop